This video is brought to you by the Cow Creek Band of Umpqua Tribe of Indians. The Yonkala football team is in its second season as a Class 1A eight-man football program. Uh, it was a learning year. It was our first year dropping down to eight-man, and we learned a lot about how open it is. I mean, high-scoring games, it's fun. We can be competitive with schools more our size. <laughs> it's exciting. Uh, a little nervous, but it's definitely exciting. Uh, I know last year I didn't feel like we were a team, and this year we do, so I'm a little more excited about this year than last year. But last year, uh, most of the seniors hadn't won any games, uh, very, well, very many games, so just we went out there and played the hardest we could. And the Eagles have kicked off 2013 with two straight wins, beating Alsea and Glendale so far. There's a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more charisma, a lot more energy. Uh, we got our fundamentals up. We uh, we've been putting more effort this year, uh, preseason wise. We start we started our, pro, uh, our benching program a month ago. We uh, we've been doing pass lanes with Low Pleasant Hill, Camas Valley, like all the all those teams. And uh, I feel like our team's ready. Yes, we're ready to com compete against any competitor that wants to. I, th I think we're going to be a little stronger on defense this year. We got everything, so I, th I think it will work. But yeah, I know we have a few plays on offense that are. It'll be hard to stop with how we have them set up. So, and we got 19. I think we might have 20 maybe by the end, beginning of the season. Uh, it helps just to be able to scrimmage and have you know depth. And there's not a real drop off from the bottom guys to the top guys. And so you know we're kind of even across the board, and we can play anybody. And that's going to be it's going to be nice to not be worried about sticking a kid in. It's going to be overmatched. Next up, the Eagles will face Joseph on the road Saturday. I'm Jason Hink in Yonkala.